Greetings from Emmanuel Church. My name is Ulla Marie Gunnar and today I'm outside my own house where I live close to Emmanuel Church. A couple of times during my adult life I've had to stay in hospital or at home for a longer period of time. That has been uh, trying. It has been something that really taken up my patience a lot. And w during those times I really would have liked to know the future. How long is this going to take? When am I ready for life again? But I don't forget all the good prayers and greetings that I received. They helped me a lot. Afterwards, these things dominate my life, dominated my life, of course. And then after that, it more became a part of my story. Afterwards, it was also more easy to, to see what happened and had more answers. During these periods, I've had, uh, I'm grateful that I've been uh, so safe with my God and uh, I have not questioned God during these times because God had, God had been there even though I have been impatient. Time to time it was also hard to pray, but then it was really something important to know that the other prayed for me. But I must admit it would have been nice to know more about the future, or maybe not. In Exodus uh, 33, uh, Moses is soon gonna lead his people the last bit of the long wandering from Egypt. God is irritated at Moses and the people because they have been promising a lot but not hold that promises and they have been uh, grumpy. And Moses starts to get old. Who can take over? He's worried about that. He, he would really like to know what was going to happen and God's plan and he asks for that plan but God is not interested in giving his plan to Moses. God promises Moses to be there, to be close, but not let him know the future. And Moses still really wants to know and kind of steps over the line for the answers he's asking for. He wants to see the face of God, have the answers, but God is not willing to give that. I can be gracious and merciful, says God but you will not see my face, you will not know my future. And the last verses of this chapter two, uh, chapter 33 in Exodus sounds like this. When my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft in the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will remove my hand and you will see my back, but my, my face must not be seen. I believe that we often see God on God's back afterwards through the goodwill and the good choices by many people. But now I have another thought. Maybe this meeting between Moses and God also is about pointing out that it's first afterwards that we can see the will of God, the plan of God, when everything is over. I'm thinking about myself, what would it have been like knowing how long I had to stay in the hospital, how long I had to feel that weak. And afterwards I think it's such a good thing that I didn't know, that I didn't see my own future. But afterwards I learned a lot about life, about faith. And now in this time, Corona time, some people want the date for when everything is back to normal, when we can do this and that. Of course, I'd, I'd like to know, I must admit that, but no one sees the right way this far. Many people are working on that, trying to understand in different aspects, but it's really first afterwards when we can see in the back mirror we will know. We have to live with this uncertainty. 
and until we know we will keep asking Lord the Lord for his mercy and blessing and we we must pray for the sick for the lonely for those in sorrow and those all those of you that work in the hospitals care caring for us God promised Moses his graciousness and his mercifulness but God did not promise the gift of knowing everything for the future. Moses had to rest in this faith that doesn't promise everything for the future and doesn't lay out the big plan for the future. And that's also what we have to do. But I think that God promises you mercy and grace. Receive that today as a blessing in your life. Amen.